Lovely. Well, welcome everyone on the hottest day in recorded British history to uh, a planning committee meeting of our uh, council. Um, apologies, but Mr. Chair, we have a uh, list absence for Councillor Paul Thank you very much. We have to take this apology all in favour. Uh, declarations of interest. Does anyone have any declarations they'd like to make at this juncture? I can't see any. Um, as ever, if you spot one during the meeting, do uh, wave me down and we'll take the uh, point if you become sure. Um, okay, on to item three minutes of the meeting of the Planning Committee held on the 28th of June 2022. Um, are we happy that those are the two records? That's lovely. Huh? Item four: Public questions in accordance with standing orders twenty two and twenty three. Uh, letters of objection. Uh, so we go on to item six: Applications registered for the weeks ending the twenty fourth, first of July, and the eighth of July. Uh, and we start. At uh, Catherine Warrington with application 5 2022 I'll just bring up first. Sorry. Okay. So, um, as you can see from your agenda, there is, I've got a lot of information um, on about the to school. I'm not going to read it all out because we'll be here all night. Um, but it basically is um, as well. It's basically going through the details about um, the drainage. Um, it's going to be cited on an existing um, pitch. Um, there were several options, but they decided to go with um, this particular option of citing where there is an existing pitch at this point in time. Um, um, they already have a community disagreement on the pitch at the moment, and they're going to extend that. Drainage is going to be into an existing deep floor on Southway. Now, lighting, um, which you probably should be aware of, they um, don't actually have permission for. Um, Flood lighting at this point in time, it was on their um, mission the acting school last time that it should be low flood lighting. However, they have put on this um, application for six 15 metre high sports lights climbs with 10 luminaires. Um, they have put the types of light suggested, um, they have explained that they will have flat glass. Uh, which keeps the um, light downwards with rear movers and ultra side batteries, which keeps the spill of the lights down onto the pitch. Um, and the lighting will be on operated light switches. Um, so that's one of the things. Uh, they addressed noise, um, which is quite technical actually, so it's a bit more difficult to be uh, assessment, but they have suggested that regarding fencing, uh, the perimeter fencing is connected to support posts with neo isolators, which reduces the battery and hits the fencing. Uh, existing access is going to be utilised, parking, um, existing parking is going to be utilised. 
um, and the operational hours, they are altering them slightly um, and everything is going to be supported by a business plan and um, this, the actual application has been formed in both ways. Um, one of the ways that they might have granted is to do with the external flood lighting. Um, highways have requested a construction management plan um, for the wet for if you know when he goes ahead regarding the building of it, regarding operational times to come inside this school. Um, okay, so if I just show you, um, and you can see on the first picture that I've crossed, uh, this is where the kitchen intended to be positioned. And you can see just a different view where the existing facility is here. And there's another view of the site. The majority of observations that we've received from members of the public have been in favour, um, although there has been one little objection that I noticed that had been put on today on the site. And I believe that um, this site up here um, has got outline planning permission from Jarvis or um, houses, etc. If that's the, the four barns or something, oh, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Yes. Okay. Um, thank you, Lynn. Um, so does anyone have any comments on this one? I suppose the only point is, bear in mind there's a football pitch there already, placing one surface with another, I think, is a bit too much because the question is, are the lights okay or not? Okay, I was first of all just going to point out that the people who wrote in favour, none of them live anywhere near the school. Just to survive, they're not the objection to that's my thing. Um, I, I mean, I don't know because I, I'm not technical enough to know whether what they're suggesting for those front lights is enough to mitigate the fact, the very basic fact that they've refused permission for front lights because of the green belt. And that was very, very clear. And I can't see that that has changed. I mean, it's been green belt. And also, not, I, and the noise, I have no way back, so you can't hear the balls hitting the um, fence. That doesn't quite explain what happens if you get, I don't know, you've got a lot of people coming up to watch and shouting, and it doesn't say anything about whether that's good, but that noise. So this will apply with the food pump bit there. So this will come up. Although I think, so I suppose that's not changed. I suppose the point of the noise is about the operating hours, having the double yeah. lights. The operating hours are going to be longer. Okay. We're going to be later. With lights. And later operating. Yes. Yeah. So, so, yes, so although you've got it now, it is, it is altered. But it, it's not like it. Can I just say that um, when they explained about the lighting, um, but lighting can also provide half pitch switching, so they can reduce the lighting for cross field play as well. Regarding the noise, um, any shouting and so on and so forth would be classified as community noise, i.e., road, rail, noise and premises, music, sports events, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's something that they stated. Um, and um, they have suggested um, a management report system um, which they would govern because they, they suggested that any community noise would more likely be um, swearing and, and anything like that, which tends to be more of complaints regarding that than noise. And so they would have a management committee and so on. And so forth. Yes. On the lighting, well, they might be able to. Let me just say this. Not to say they would. It doesn't alter the fact that it's red light anyway. No. 
I think it was Council Alive and Council Plus. Thank you. I mean, I don't think I don't see how you can interrupt like half the football pitch. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's down to the, I think it's down to the buses that go along the side and also obviously they're on to ring. The yeah. yes. But it's, you can't, you can't like half the football pitch. It's not as just because it, I think sometimes you can get, you have like five a side. You can play across the pitch, right? Just off the pitch, right? Or if you have kids training, off they wouldn't play for the full side pitch either. They, so you might find you have in one evening to it rent out to two different groups who yeah. would play off one half of the pitch, or maybe just one half of the pitch. Sometimes you get the whole pitch, and you might find that someone might just use one half of the pitch, but they let the whole you know, they've yeah, yeah. got the turning off his half, and leaving them not. But that's the technical reason why. Thank you. Um, but again, I mean, it was floodlights were specifically um, mentioned as not permissible. Yeah. Um, I have Councillor Yes, I mean, I don't necessarily don't have a set of view on this because the concerns are listed here. Alluded to. Um, and I know what happens in another part of the town is not strictly relevant, but just out of curiosity, is there a um, three-chain matrix so intensively used to run the school? So what's your experience there? Um, so I have heard an anecdote you know, from a couple of residents that they've had complaints about the noise and things, but it's mostly sort of community noise rather than um, Anything which I think I don't know if Mr. O'Connor concerns of community noise or is this? Um, no, I don't think so, but I could not say for sure. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been more about that than, than operating hours, um, which has been the sort of concern. And I think those are both relevant here if, if community noises are coming. So. Yeah, the other picture is the one in the pub, which is now the towns. Um, so I don't have a set of view um, in terms of big picture. Um, there's a demand for what? Um, we need something for people to do. <laughs> um, that it makes noise, it's become a bit so the reason to say that it can't turn up outside. Let's play bridge or something. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Uh, so, um, uh, I feel that what the pitch is going to be the distance from you've got that sort of green sort of buffer area, then you've got the road, then you've got houses off beyond that. My reaction is that's far enough away to totally, if you can say, ignore the sound of. Which I think all the rest, but some of it is just over your back fence. It's a whole football pitch, and if you think about it. And those new houses they can build will be presumably built around the same time as the pitches and school that was sort of they will have it priced in for people who live in. Um, so I'm not that concerned to say about well, I'm still concerned, but not, you know. I wouldn't reject this on the basis of So it sort of comes down to the Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, I think because it, there's already, I appreciate it's written, but because there's already a um, school on the site, I'm much more, I, I don't look at it in a view of if, if there wasn't a school there and it happened, you would be, you know, we, the school wasn't there, we wouldn't accept that application. Pretty but because the school's there, I think that's a material, that's a fair enough mitigation for me to be more relaxed about some of the other problems it might cause to quite, you know, to quite a small number of residents potentially. And I think it is a material consideration in this case, the benefit that it will bring to young people especially and some older people, you know, 
Young people and adult for adult for, I mean not all. That's that's a that's a, um, that's quite a big thing as well. Um that's so it's not it's not just kids, but the kids will get a big benefit of this. Um and um, about the, the, the lines, so I've I've read the um the of the um Objection from the developer of Jarvis Homes, who wanted the for houses. And I think some of the, I think he suggested also, you know, autumn, winter being reduced to 8 pm and spring, summer being reduced to 6 pm, means 6 pm. That's just, I think that's just, that's just seven, you know, it's half six. You, can't, you don't want fur fights. So that's just one thing. Um, now I'm very comfortable with this, so I think it'd be a big benefit to the town. Okay. I mean, I can't think, given as you say, how few people live in the immediate vicinity option, I can't think of places where you get a better cost benefit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the green belt lighting concern is, I think, a concern. I think you can mention that and leave that up to people at St Albans who are much more well trained. In how flood lighting works and mitigations and things like that. Um, so I, I would, I, I mean, my preference would be to add something specific in about lighting as the recommendation. Something along the lines of no objection, provided that there will be no significant detrimental impact surrounding it here, um, in particular with regards to potential life or something of that. I mean, I don't know these things, and I am. Um, something of that, so that we highlight the lighting as a clear point. Councillor Barton. So, well, so we actually need to be a bit stronger. I think it does need to draw attention to concern about not lighting in green belt middle of the table school specifically. You do like that. that the original planning is specifically said about flood lighting. Uh, in in my plan, no objection to strong language. Um, I'm not sure it's strong in that but I think it needs to be yeah. highlighted that there is a concern. Yeah. Maybe it's along the lines of the um, possibility of flood lighting in the green belt area needs further consideration. Yes. Yeah. And, 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 and examination, yeah. something, yeah. Like yeah. That. something like that. So at least yeah. it, it's a large people. Yes. Because, it is, to, because it is a principle of not just a natural study, but a natural principle. Yes. Um, yeah. My concern with that would be we're saying no objection, but basically we're not saying no objection. So I'm quite uncomfortable with that word because you know if we, if we want to say we have an objection to it, I think as a committee we should be honest that we have an objection to it. I can't support that because I don't have an objection to the fundlighting. But we're saying we have an objection. Does that make no sense? Yeah. So I think I think the, the language should be first. Uh, no objection provided there will be a significant detrimental impact on the surrounding area. Um, in, uh, and, and in particular, that the flood lighting in the green belt does not pose a significant detrimental, does not something along that, you know what I mean? But not saying it needs further consideration. I think that's the language that you have in the problem. Um, yeah, because in my view, it's because you should either come to a view as to whether if, if, we're, if we're happy at the Flood lighting doesn't have a significant detrimental impact, which you know I'd be happy to swore that it did. I'll be yeah. If, if it does not have a significant detrimental impact, we should have a view, we should make a view tonight as to whether we're happy for flood lights on this site if it doesn't have a detrimental impact. But which, I, think, I, I think part of what wrote his um, um, wording was we, we don't like the principle of flood lights on this site. Whereas this, this is part of the application, I think should form a view on that. Yes, no, that makes sense. No, it, actually, I think it's more principle about green belt, but we have to say we've like, we test slightly that. different. Yeah, okay. but we can test that to admit. Yes. Yeah. So, so fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Just let me know. I just find it into the current It's also a difference that that's a serious application is refused because of the confront item on that and we have to take account of that and take that consideration. I don't think we necessarily have to. I mean we should, but I don't think we have to. Well, it's not the difference we shouldn't have to. Okay. 
my point was that if we wanted to ignore it because of the material benefits of the application, there was an option. I'm not saying we should. Yes, we should argue that. Is that yes. what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's fine. Yes. So it might not be able to see that. Yeah, yeah. 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 yes. But if to the district to take a few more people. I don't think the community rates the language that highlights it, but that doesn't specify that it, we think that this proposal itself is a problem, I think is the, the balance. Yes. Okay. Um, all in favour of a recommendation that does that. We can come back to specific language, but all in favour of the principle of a recommendation that does that. So specific language we're going with is no objection, provided that there'll be no significant impact on the surrounding area, and in particular with regards to um, the flood light field and its preventative impact. Happy with that as a as a set of words. I think that, that to me more or less gives us a moment. Yeah. Um, we want to vote on the specific wording now that we've agreed it, or are we happy that the vote we've made is sufficient? See, this is from me because I'm not entirely sure where we are. I can see the application provided that there will be no specific detrimental impact on the surrounding area with regards to. With regards um, to right, I will ask for the vote on that just to be clear that we have a majority right. for that wording. Okay. Uh, all in favor. Sorry. Um, no objection provided that no significant detrimental impact on the surrounding area with particular regards to flood lighting in the green belt. Yeah. yeah. Particular regards to the potential impact. Potential impact. All in favour. Um, that's a challenge. Okay. Oh. Okay. On to, are you ready for me to move up? Yes. Love. On to 2022 1471 at uh, 23 Carpenters Close. So, I is I'll put the first picture up for you and I'll move on once I've explained to get me on. So, this is a semi detached property with a rear garden of number 25, 27, and 29 running along its side boundary at Church Drive. Zooms around. Let's see, I'll pass that one that way. Um, you can get an idea. I have just not realised that that's brought us back to the point, isn't it? Yes, yeah, I have a friend who actually is that one with that. I don't think it's impacted. Perhaps I'm not going to be interested. It's not going to be impacted. 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 It's not going to be the single story front element is shown to extend forward in order to enlarge the existing, existing entrance hall and incorporates the proposed side extension, which extends further forward as far as the existing line. Um, and then you can see the property itself. The side extension is pulled in from the neighbouring boundary and continues along the side of the property to incorporate storage and utility facilities. Along with extending the existing kitchen, rear extension will replace the existing conservatory running further along the rear building line before being pulled in to form a 90 degree angle and attaching to the super story side extension. The proposed office no detrimental impact on neighbouring properties for the street seat 
very effective part of the vision and there will be no loss of trees. Um, we had a letter of support from number 25, but he has stated um, that he requests shading from trees and replacement fencing um, along the boundary to hide the extension. Not to wonder why. No. I think that would just be a subject. <laughs> <laughs> I will leave that to the district council to uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, Um is this all the just you know? Yes. Uh, we'll just check on what we have yeah. uh, any comments from council this one? Seeing any feedback with the plan on that side really? Um sorry, just look at the front end of it. Is there anything going on the first floor? No, there isn't. No. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. That means, um, with the addition of the language subject and then what's looking at being neighboring properties, um, but we have to the recommendation. All in favor? Okay. Five twenty twenty two one five eight five with seven Yeoman's There you can see a um as I do and the grammar pointing to where the extension is going to be. Here as well. This is the front of the property. So, um, this is a four bedroom um, detached dwelling with a single garage and parking for two to three vehicles at the front of the property and is sited opposite the new school. Proposal uh, so is to erect a two story front extension on the left hand side of the um, dwelling, which will run in line with the building line of number five. Um, and then to reduce to a single storey front extension for the remainder of the property, incorporating a new porch. Do these again, sorry. So you can see what I'm talking about. The proposed two storey rear extension is shown to be almost a mirror image of the front of the property. But with the first floor element being positioned on the side, David property on the null later. It doesn't appear to be any detrimental impact on this property, and the 45 degree rule appears to be adhered to. Property is to remain as a four bedroom dwelling with a proposed increase in size, improving internal accommodation. An extended dropped curb is proposed to allow for rearranged parking provision, although no details as to size have been provided. The application states that trees will be affected with the loss of one tree in the back garden to make way for the rear extension. It's also noted that two other trees may also be affected by building works within their root protection zones. No tree survey has been incorporated within the application to support any proposed tree works as required in policy ESD 14 and neighbourhood plan. Um, consider recommended to use them due to the lack of a tree survey as required by this particular policy. Which we um, so, so, I think obviously, given the precedent we said in the past, when there's been no tree survey, I think we have to be consistent with that. Uh, so, the question for me really is is there anything else we'd like to mention our recommendation other than um, that, that isn't um, <coughs> is a tree? I, when I looked at this on the, um, on the website, I couldn't 
It's still looking much very good. Um, I'll ask a question if I may, given the still rose of the view here. What, what we say, I can refuse all of you to like a tree study, fine, okay. But we don't offer any other comments. Um, and I'm just wondering, and I'm thinking this is an example, so it's not just this one, but when we say this, we refuse for a particular reason, actually, don't have any other objections. Shouldn't we say afterwards, otherwise, no objection? We haven't in the past, but I see no reason why we couldn't add that language. It's partly, it comes back from the tree swap, okay? We then say what we said, but it's, it's a bit more, it's a more complete account of what we've, yeah. we've said. I think they can do no tree swap, though. Without the bring it back, um, they can do because um, obviously we all just see we're often about our recommendation. Um, so they choose to put that in and then go forward to some findings and whatever. Then obviously they still want to. Then within that eight week period, yeah. But if anyone asks what's not, yeah, what's not the view, they know what that view is on the tree side. The tree side, the tree side, they go in. We haven't got a view, we haven't said Back in. So, what you're saying, yeah. I think what the most appropriate language given what we've used before is whilst we have no objection in principle for the application, we can make a useful one. So just add that. Yeah. Usual caveats. Yeah. As well. Yeah, no, I think that's it. It's a good point. Um, with that, all in favour of the recommendation? Okay, 52022 do not meet the criteria required for consideration. So on to 52022 that's 33 to Rothenstein. Target for you. So, this is the first idea of the property which is on quite a large piece of land. And this is the best um, uh, street view that I can get. And you can see that it's quite a nice property. And if you can see here the number of trees that are along the frontage, which is um, what I will refer to in my observations. Um, okay, so um, the existing property is set on a large plot, which although it's not sited in the conservation area itself, along with its two neighbouring properties and the properties in Orchard Avenue, which I believe is um, alongside as we hide. Um, the remainder of the surrounding area is conservation area. The majority of the properties within the vicinity appear to be two storey dwellings. However, where there are three storey dwellings, these have been up to roof windows at the rear due to the conservation area regulations. The street scene shows differently styled properties and roof designs. The proposal for this site looks to replace the existing property with another dwelling, which, although on a slightly smaller footprint, will have an increase to the roof line of approximately half a litre. The garage at the front of the property will be demolished, subsequently increasing space for the parking. The design shows two roof dormers and one beam up window at the rear of the property, one roof dormer which is positioned centrally on the front of the building. Two arch windows are shown in the apex of the second storey front elevations and one further beam up window on the second storey side elevation. Eight solar panels are to be incorporated into the front of the roof. The existing screen is in place on the side boundary of number 31 with a single storey extension running along the side of number 35. Sufficient space of two and a half metres has been allowed between the properties and the proposed new dwelling, 
Yeah. Um, just to clarify, the weight of the garage has been demolished and that will increase space for a bit, but I'm assuming that's because they just their parking space will be on a dry rather than in a garage. Well, that's the case. Just to quickly, it, it says they're taking down four trees in front to be replaced with two trees. Yes, but they go to about the kitchen individual. So is that fast? That qualifies? Well, I think it's going to be, if it's mixed hedging and so on, it, it's sort of, I mean, if you look at these trees, they're... Green. <laughs> 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 not what I prefer to have. Well, they're fir trees, yeah, um, so they don't hold mm. as much value. I can accept uh, that. Yeah. The ongoing battle I have in this of some trees apparently worth more than others. Uh, and the fact that they're putting hedging in, I think it's down to councillors, it's not down to me. Um, I had the same thought. I'm never quite sure on the hedging versus trees. Mm. We have some kind of sliding scale next time we do an eight foot plant. I mean, it's not a wall, is it? <laughs> it's just in some places, you know, we, we lose two trees and we want four. Yeah. Okay. You're losing four, we get, yeah, you're, you're losing four, we get two and a little hedge. I think it was good. Well, maybe it's true. Unless it's a. We're at risk of a philosophical debate about when a hedge becomes a tree. Well, yes, but the point is if it is a little privet hedge, then it is really replacing the lines. But if you have a, but if you've got one, what? Tree work. Yeah, or trees. Yes. So, well, it does rather depend what's going to constitute the. I'm not afraid to embarrass myself on YouTube. I guess still make teeths. I guess still make teeths. Hey, I can say that. There are a lot of little circles of high are plants. I mean, just for those query something because it hasn't. Yeah. It's not consistent, is it? Ace, well, they've got Ace for Charles. Little Maples. Mm. Ace is pretty easy. I mean, they're too attentive. Anything can grow from being small up into 
Speaks. And what is that when it's at home? Is that a good tree? Are we happy? Yeah. 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 Speech. Yeah. Speech. 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 I'm assuming the three that they're taking yeah. Yeah. on the yeah. day. We've established the night. Yeah. That's for by the way. Um, yeah, I mean, this is not in the conservation area, which is a huge dominant gap in the conservation area. I'll change that in what it is, but it's um, changing the area now. Uh, but it's the two different way that it has to put the missionary across the road and put the yes. houses down either side. Um, and what the house is, is it's chalet style, basically arts and crafts style. Yes. Um, uh, commensurate with the plot size, not over bearing. And what we're getting to develop is a uh, large mansion that fills the plot. It's not unique. Um, there have been several other rebuilds, um, things similar, including the opposite of the other side of the road. But uh, to my mind, that's what's going on more than sort of tree it is, yes. frankly. Um, and what this applicant has not done, which many applicants have the courtesy to do, is in their design access statement, things I've been looking at it. Have a um, sort of part, part three or mock up computer, basically, day of how it will look. Um, and uh, with elevations, but you still don't quite get the sense of how it will look on the street and how it will, whether it will dominate. Yeah. Um, there's no sort of history of the plot. Um, and this new house has been there. Um, so there's no, not the same effort that many applicants make to justify what they're doing without access to statement for the few patients. Doing a bit of the text. Are they really compliant with the level of planning here in terms of what they're required to do? And unfortunately, it's not conservation effort, it's not a good thing. Um. I matched it up with the properties that were around them and what was behind them because I was concerned about the size um, and whether it would be domineering in regards to particularly properties at the rear. And when I went down um, Orchard Avenue, properties down there were larger than what that one is at the moment. And what it was to become seemed to match the ones at the rear, which also um, aren't in the conservation area. And I couldn't find a reason to say no to it in my observations and my considerations. Um, and I covered my no objection with the subject to no detrimental impact because the houses surrounding it were different and differently designed and quite large plot. So I couldn't find and justify a reason to say no. And so therefore, regarding the name of the plan, I couldn't find a reason within that to say no. And I think it's worth noticing as you say when you notice more harm to it. It's a lot of harm as well. I also did think it was too big and I looked at it and the detail and I was happy with it. More on the grounds than I wanted to other than what had been built in Kirkwick Avenue. Frankly, if that got through, then I'm afraid to say this, this will get through. Oh, so, yeah, so, okay. Yeah. So, okay. so I'm trying to 
big, big, it's a big building on what that plot. It is. This is the main thoroughfare for people going by. So what of impact you should see. Mm -hmm. That top of the 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 top yeah, of the character and properties that should be listed in the town when it's being done to look at the wood. Properties need at least local listing protection. And there's no arts and crafts, and there's an arts and crafts style yeah. house. There's no bits of brickwork or woodwork on it that would, I couldn't see it, and it could. Um, <laughs> but as I went to others who go around the town, and one of my wives pointed them out to me, ah, that, you know, that's for preserving, essentially. Yeah. I mean, I personally yes, a lot. I don't think it's a lot to object to, as in, even with all the comments made, I don't think what they're proposing I think it'll be out of keeping with other things that have been allowed. And I think that's from a planning, pure planning perspective, that's the position. That, that, was my, that was my conclusion. Whether or not we would personally like it to go ahead or not is. Um, Unfortunately, not a, not a black consideration. I'm always puzzled by planning because I don't know how they ask about what I was told, but that's no question is not a consideration. But when it comes to an individual one, people always say, oh, would that be the map of life? Yes, it's local government. Okay. Um, I think, unless there are any other comments, I think we'd like to move to a vote. Um, okay, all in favour of the recommendation. You understand you want to speak? We think you still have an answer. You don't need to build. Oh, I thought we'd all be at that. We're all happy at that. Okay, what do you want to do? Sorry, just, um, we do write anything for that. Whatever the wording is on the thing, um, what I've just said something about. And so it's required. Subject to the good Sorry. No, but I, I thought I would say, oh, don't need to in, in my head, then, already, we already agreed that. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's been a long, very hot couple of days. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. Five twenty twenty two one five six six at ninety six Calvary. So, um, this is in the conservation area. This all. Uh, this property um, is a bit, um, I have um, because the reason being is that it appears to have changed, it, yes, changed its appearance. Oh, sorry, I just looked at the picture and saw the. Oh, it's the wall. So it must be behind us. It's not got an old It's got an old So there must be an old picture. Yes. That's it. Yes, exactly. But um, when I found it, it didn't look like that. So, um, so I, I had a little bit of trouble um, because apparently it seems to change its um, bearing mind it's in the conservation area. It has um, updated its appearance at some point with new windows, foot north, and beach covered body. Um, okay, so it's um, set back from the neighbouring properties with a large expanse of windowless wall on one side, which you can see there, um, and by screening from trees on the other. Most of this to extend at the rear of the property with a three metre by 6.39 metre super story extension, which spans the width of the building, and also the addition of a um, garden store, which will be sited to the rear of the existing utility room. 
proposed vertical front extension was for the porch area, reducing in size by 0.6 of a metre to follow the same side building line and extending over the existing single storey side extension. There will be no additional bedroom accommodation as the first floor front and side extensions will allow for an increase to the size of bedroom three. Parking provision remains the same. The proposal states that no trees will be affected. However, due to the presence of the neighbouring trees, some significant blocking or cutting back appears that it will be necessary, and therefore there are concerns that the trees within the facility of this proposal would be affected. Consider recommend refusal due to the size and scale of the proposal within the Harpenden Conservation Area and the detrimental impact that it would have on both the street scene and the neighbouring trees growing along the boundary of the proposed development, which would result in either loss or damage to them. No, I'm going to declare an interest. I haven't realised it before. Uh, I do know well um, the occupied owner of the neighbouring property. I think I have a non funerary uh, interest and therefore the property is on the farm. Yeah, I think it's right there. It's a bit debatable. Yeah, right. Councillor Lushman. Councillor Lushman. Councillor Lushman. Further pictures you wanted to show us? I don't think so. Not many beach and flatbed properties that I've seen. No, I don't know because it's not official for it. But it's conservation, I know. <laughs> Allowing enforcement. Yes, can't be. Thanks, Chair. I was, I was ambivalent on this from it. I read your comment, Mimic, and difficulty seeing how you thought it was. Um, what did you say? It was. Um, due to the size and scale of the proposal, when you look at the, the, the plan, it, it, the size is not bigger than. Any other properties in that street. So why do you think it's going to be twice as high? Yeah, of course. Yeah. If I miss for a last bit, Aaron, I'm afraid. Yeah. 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 I think the issue of the size exists because the property is so out of keeping the street scene. I think it was just that it took up a lot of the, the plot on that particular boundary, and also it was, it was just sort of doubly, doubling in size um, to what it originally is. Um, yeah, I, I admit that the second point I, I was worried about was the fact you're going to be digging down for foundations down that mm. right hand side with these trees. Are. I don't know whether they're trees worth protecting or whose land is that? Is that water? Yeah, what is it? More probably water. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not that. Well, I know that. I mean, they, what, 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 what roof damage might it do? Yeah. Yeah. That, that is but, but with trees in conservation area, you can't just come along and lock them. I know. Uh, so if, so if, even if it's not, yeah. So the occupy this building or this property can't just lock that tree and that's overhanging there. No. It says it's somewhat interesting. thing about doing it. It's happening. Um, this is it's the whole of Camping Road, Camping Road, that's in the conservation plan. Uh, if you go to the yes, further down, down, it's, not it's a different style, so it's yes, it's different. Different. 
going that way, that way is much more than the newer. Yeah. So it's not so it's not really as we know going further down the road. It's just more I don't know if they call boxy can you go the other way though? Because the, the next door property looks like it's one of the older ones. I can't yeah, on, the, yes. on the left side, to your left, yes, that's like that's yeah. um, the start of the Victorian. Yes, yeah, that's the start of the Victorian. Which are white, white, white. Yes. Yeah. 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 On a technical matter, that this one looking at is the very end of the conservation area. It's right at the end of it, isn't it? Yeah. That's that's right. Yeah. Unlike the last one, which was the other side, not quite in. It's a lot bigger, it's going to be. That's the thing that it's not in the end of the conservation area. Uh, the trees on the side as well, but the entrance to work. Was that right? The trees on the right are going to be this way. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. 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 See that? Yeah, they're quite attractive, aren't they? Yes. And again, the parents also have to keep them. Yeah. I think these are quite attractive. So, yes, that's so they are. So that property there wouldn't be raised totally out keeping anyway, but it, it doesn't match the street scene either. It looks like they've torn one down at some point, part of the centre. That's what I was trying to find out, but I couldn't find. And I even spoke to Heather about this, and um, there didn't seem to be any history as such on it. Um, yeah, we couldn't find any history on it at all. Um, and we went back on the date wise, couldn't find anything, and just noticed that it had changed from this style. It was this style all along, but then they just updated oh. it. And so it's not pretty, that's the that's the district. Not really no. And then obviously you've got this area which is uh, but, but which is like a little bit from there it's a bit of a mess. But yeah. Yeah. And arguably because you've got those trees and that green bit in between, it acts as a as a if you like a natural yeah. Division doesn't yes. between the one bit of the road. Yes. Whereas this this one is still as we say, yeah. And that's why now I know why I said about the size and scope of it, because I didn't feel that it fitted yeah. with these. No, it doesn't it doesn't already, but that makes it even more so. Mm. Yeah. You think of Cowper Road as being effectively two roads. It's on yes. the one oh, the link. Yeah. 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 It does actually change its name. It becomes still green, doesn't it? But yeah. yeah. Oh, no, not, but not, 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 no, no, no but, yeah. but it does become kind of quite right. It becomes still green. green. Quite, quite a bit of a way down. Yeah. Right. Okay. This one's still Yes. Oh. Um. It's something else. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I suppose. Quite a question. That point is whether design ones, whether it might be an improvement, even to you know, more modern paper. I think it's potential an improvement, although it still doesn't really fit in. Is it? Okay, it comes forward a little because part of me looks at that and it sees that sort of big. So I, I think it does come from the bedroom. Yeah, I mean, and that's actually quite unattractive to the street scene. And you almost, almost wonder if it came forward a bit, it might improve the street scene. Yeah, the garden's a little bit small. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. Oh, 
I think I'm forward to the bottom of this. Sorry. No, no, it's a fair question. But no. Unless they think they can cross it. It is equally going to emphasize the fact that it's totally out of keeping the observation area on the streets. Yeah. Slightly hidden back. Yes. That's the idea. I think I know. Yes, because there's no this we don't know whether something is completely knocked out and rebuilt or what. I were able to refuse the myth that uh, this it's not in keeping with the streets. Yeah. Yes. I think that's the recommendation. Yeah, that much the impact on the streets. I'm getting the answer. That's Um, okay, I think we're broadly saying we agree with the recommendation, um, in which case I would like to literally vote if we see if that's actually what we're saying. Um, so I would invite the recommendation set out. Abstaining, Roger, are you abstaining? Yes. Well, if I'm not, oh, you're sorry, you've got an interest. Out. My, my apologies. Um, so I think I'm the direction of that. So, what uh, one entry, one interest. No, 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 um, on to 522, 1423. So, so, so it's not really the transparency, not transparent about it. I think we'll be in the privacy, don't we? I don't think the wording matters, Roger. We're not putting in a comment. So this is just our wording. Um, on to just better. Yeah, I'm, I'm right. So, you know, this is just a comment for yeah. us. Um, 5, 2022, 1, 4, 2, 3, 50 Maysfield. Okay, so here, um, this is the picture um, of the land um, at the rear of the city, which is the application. Um, detail. So, um, firstly, just um, so that you're aware, we have had a lot of letters of objection, well, at St Albans, um, from all the residents in um, Maysfield Court, which is the road um, at the rear of this property. Um, also, um, highways. Um, have said no objection, um, but there's also been a um, letter from St Albans District Council to say that this um, road at the rear, um, most of the court is actually a private road, and um, that when um, the right to buy scheme was taken over to this property, um, I, there was some sort of legal so it's just to make you aware of that, okay? Well, it's not a plan matter, it's not. Okay, so um, the application is to, um, they say demolish the buildings. Um, there are some three outbuildings on here, um, but obviously my picture's not showing them, but these letters of objection have details that they are there. Um, the property itself is a little terrace, two story dwelling, and the proposal is to construct a one bedroom bungalow on its land at the rear of the property, 
including um, provision of associated parking for one vehicle and a new access. The application states that three existing new buildings will be demolished to make way for the proposed property, although these cannot be seen from the Google Street scenes as I've stated. Access to the one bedroom property will be via basement porch where it will be sited at the end of the cul de sac. Currently, has a row of small terrace bungalows running along the right hand side of the roadway. The existing property is a two bedroom home which requires a limited space of 60 square metres. When taking into account the separation of the river garden for the proposed property, this will produce amenity space provision to 50 square metres. But this has not included the rear area of the property which should be included in the calculations. With regards to the provision for the new property, as this only has one bedroom, the provision would be 40, 40 square metres, and the amenity space has been calculated on the front rear of the major spaces and amounts to 42 square metres, and therefore the meets requirements. Fencing of six foot will be provided, sorry, will divide both properties at the rear in order to defend amenity space. However, there may be some degree of overlooking due to the difference in height between the two dwellings and the window to window differences of just over 12 metres. The roof height of the new building will be 4.2 metres, with the overall width being 6.5 metres. There doesn't appear to be any detrimental issues in terms of loss of amenity to other neighbouring properties, and there'll be no loss. Or please, parking meets the requirements. Um, consider express concern with regards, with regards to the size of the plot and subsequent ramped appearance, which may result in a loss of amenity to potential occupiers. Also, express concern with regards to the existing two story dwelling house, which was overlooked the proposed property at the rear due to the differences in height along with reduced window to window distances resulting in a loss of means and privacy. Um, so there you can see this is the area where they want to sort of have access to the um, property. This is the lane um, that they would have to come down, which is quite small in width. And this is the entrance. And this is the property. Um, that owns the land, you can see that they would have parking, enough parking space for their property. Um, and if you care to, um, if you happen to have done your homework, there are some letters on St Albans District Council, one of which is quite disturbing, but I don't really want to go into too much detail on that. But you know, you're ready. Yeah. I'd come to my view, I'd come to my view for that point. Um, anyway, I'll leave it up to the councillors. Thank you. Any comments from councillors on this one? Uh, councillors, no. I'd be going in first. I'd, I'd refuse it. Something as that, I guess. I'd go on to the list of things I would object to. There's so many of them. Back garden development overlooking from the etc. etc. Okay, cool to provide. Yeah. Me, it's the current stock kind of looks to the different garden if you want. Yeah, yeah. it's not right enough. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it says a lot when there's an existing shed. I would check whether that's the proposal. Yes. Okay. Okay. It still looks like. <laughs> It's too tight, it's too small. It's not just as big enough to take it. Everything is just on the edge of acceptable, mm -hmm. which is acceptable, but whether we should be encouraging it or not is a different question. And it's a shame because I like more bedroom properties going into the park. Yes, so we should be encouraging but in places where that is appropriate. It says it's all good, so it's basically a shame. <laughs> Um, yeah, I would say if it was maybe like the, if they had the neighbours properly, but they had 48. I mean, when I first went, I assumed it was the end terrace, end of that street, or they had the whole, the whole front block. I don't realize it's another property to, to the right of it. Because you look in that way, the top, the yeah. um, and then um, there was a lot of objections about parking. Um, 
I mean, we've been a bit busy, but I think if, if highways haven't objected, I, I would have no evidence that that's the reason to object. I think it's just, just the size of the comes up again. Yeah. I um, agree that it's on the, on the line, it's not being accessible or unaccessible. You should straight to just you know prove it. Um, so many reasons not to. That's not something we should have Yes, we do need more accommodation. Uh, and all the numbers of bedrooms, yes, that's a good thing. But there are there are limits, it's just not the place to exclude them. I'd also highlight this, as I understand it from your comment, then the amenity space includes all of the with most of which is not use of the amenity space unless something's like this yeah. around the outside. Yeah, it's I I have a question. Yeah. It's, it's all outdoor space rather than amenity space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean part of it's gonna be in the alley between yeah. the fence and the, the fence and the generally speaking, you can't, you know, get a full that's my criteria, you know what I mean. It's pretty <laughs> um, okay, uh, I don't think we need to discuss this much further, other than to say that we've changed the recommendation to recommend refusal. Um, all in favour of that? Have we start? Okay. Finally, 2022, 1484 and 1629 did not meet the criteria for consideration. So, 1252, 1633, 22, Kirkwick and Hampton. Okay, so you can see the property here in the um, zone. This is the area where um, alterations are going to be made. Um, so there's a small alteration there, which is going to be a small addition at the rear. Um, the garage is going to be altered um, to put a new um, pitched, I think it's a pitched roof, but I'll just quickly go through it and some. Um, a skylight in there and, and they're going to bring the garage forward a little bit here so they can maintain it as a garage area so this is going to be the lobby at the rear um the second study here and just a, an additional part of the garage here okay. this is the property here so it's quite across as you can see, and the proposal is to increase the size of the garage at the front in order to keep its parking facility and to include a study area at the rear. Roof lights are to be added to the rear of the garage, which will involve altering the shape and line of the garage roof. However, as it is single story, it doesn't appear to, to, to detract from the street scene as there are varied roof designs. Doesn't appear to impact on neighbouring properties due to its positioning behind a tall hedge, which runs along the side boundary of the property and creates a natural screen. Further, small single story rear extension is to be added to create a lobby which will join the proposed new study to an existing one in the host building. Consider no objection subject to the appropriate design and use of materials in the property conservation area. And provided that suitable protection measures are put in place to ensure that the hitch running alongside them is not. I think this is the first one I've ever seen anyone build something with those describing so what the is a new one. Um, always nice to see uh, new things. Any comments from councillors? I think that thing's a lot longer than. Um, before we have the committee to vote, uh, all in favour of the recommendation? Okay. You're welcome. Any time.
section of the road which are linked by single garages and sited in a diagonal fashion on their lots. The proposal is to extend at the front of the property with a two-storey extension to be positioned on the right-hand side um, just from here um, next to the neighbouring property number 17 Ashley Gardens and measuring one and a half metres deep. Part single part two story extension is to replace the existing separately built garage um, and shed, and is shown to be attached to the host dwelling. Set further forward towards the front building line, creating a pitched roof. There will be no change in bedroom accommodation, though there will be the loss of the garage. Uh, consider express concern with, with regards to the two story front extension, which may have a detrimental impact on neighbouring property 17 um, in terms of loss of amenity. Um, and I was concerned about this area here on the property of number 17, Ashley Gardens. Um, concerns are also expressed regarding a possible terracing effect in relation to the proposed. Part single part two story site extension, thereby impacting on the students. Um, <laughs> Thomas Jack. It's been a very long couple of days. Uh, any pictures of them in this one? And this the one above. Just those two. Okay. That one there. Okay, so there you can see where it says. Any comments from the councillors? I was inclined to refuse this based on exactly the point you raised. The uh, two story extensions into the right property yeah. uh, impacted pattern number 17. Mm. Actually, no. Any other? Yes, I think it was here. We discussed it in the last time, but um, the different considerations on the unused area, on the bottom of individual houses of some age. Um, here, you've got uniform development. Once you start watching one house, which is only such a big deal. You're really off the street scene because you're losing the uniformity and everyone does their own thing. Um, and although it's not a conservation area, the houses are not fully designed, but actually they make more sense as a unity than they do if they will become different. I'm not sure if there is a more of view is on this. That would be a detrimental impact on the street scene. Really. Yes. Yeah. That, that's my concern because this is a. Is it, does anyone know this as a cul de sac? Yes. Yeah. It, you know, it, it, it was built as a cul de sac. Yes. It's, it's a street. 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 Definitely, definitely. Yeah, there's been selection of them. It's probably built about the same time. 
I mean, that's not the other end of town, it's not where I live. It's not dissimilar, but it is actually very open and asphalt. See, I agree, because the streets here as well. It's yes. Here. It's totally going to change, you know, the, you know, the, the yeah. new yes. front of the house, front elevation. It's going to make it. You see that already up in uh, what's the road? You go up the hill towards um, the, the Stein, go along there over the bridge. Andrews, 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 um, I think if we flip the recommendation around side as well, so we're refusing regarding possible terracing effects, uh, impact on the street scene, cost of openness, and, and effect on the camp in the street scene as well. Um, and then concerns are also expressed with regards to the um, potential detriment of impact on neighbouring property in terms of cost of a meeting. I think that makes sense. I need to say that as well. I'm conscious I just sort of rattle it on. All in favor of that's the recommendation. Okay. On to by 2022 1693 at Four Bloomfield. So, um, Jen was um, produced previously due to the height and depth of the proposal, which would impact on number one, St. Nicholas Court. I behind here. Um, no changes appear to have been made to the previous application in the new proposal. However, a daylight stroke sunlight assessment has been provided to supply sufficient information for the local planning authority regarding loss of light and amenity to qualify this resubmission. Report concludes that the proposed development would have an imperceptible impact on the daylight levels, the sunlight levels for all windows, and an imperceptible impact on the sunlight levels of the existing community area of St. Nicholas Court, complying with BR 209 guidance. The Town Council previously had no objection. Consider no objection provided that the previous reasons for refusal is fully addressed. Okay, so, um, That's the right yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what this picture takes. Okay, so, it's basically it's a road, um, but it's mainly about. Um, which you can just see at the back of the camera. Yeah, actually, that's what it is. What is the name of this Sorry? What is the name of this court? It's apartments, is it? It's apartments, it's apartments. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Recommendation. It's illogical to say anything else since we didn't have any objections in the previous. Yeah. I'm enjoying the implication of an imperceptible impact on light. The implication being there's an impact, but you can't see it. <laughs> on light. Anyway. I mean, um, I'm trying to read the report well. Yeah. Right. Oops. Yeah. Next time I was trying to split here or swim down. <laughs> Introduce that that cabinet. I haven't looked at the plans. I must have. I, I didn't. I didn't see it. No, I couldn't see it either. I think that's why we looked at last time. That obviously we can see nothing there. 
Any other contra councils? One. Okay. Right. Right. recommendation all in favor? Okay, on to my 2022 1679 uh, Aaron House Great. Okay, so I don't know what's going on. It's basic. Uh, yeah, a lot of bits in total. Um, this is the only picture I could actually get. <laughs> you can really see it. Yeah. So, yeah. so this is the only picture I could get um, of the property. Um, and it's basically a grade two listed building in the Harpenden Conservation Area. The proposal put forward is to update the property with insulation, electrical and mechanical systems the list of building application statement details that the renovations are to address issues throughout the property, such as insulation, failing windows and doors, gaps and cavities, repairs to brickwork, a new replacement of kitchen flooring and other modifications in order to make energy efficient. All works of protected buildings are carried out under the direction of the heritage officer at the local planning authority. Consider no objection provided that any repairs or replacements made to or within this grade two list of building do not cause undue harm or damage and are carried out under the direction of the Conservation and Heritage Officer at St Albans District Council. So, I mean, if you want to look at the plan, you can see. Does anyone want to try? Uh, I did. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I will push us to the vote then. All in favour? Yeah. Um, okay. Park Avenue Okay, so this is a picture of South. Um, it's the one on the first corner. Yeah, it's just trying to. Oh, you to decide where it's from. So, um, so this is the existing property. Um, and I think that's the end of the project as well. So this property is a two-storey um, granite set in the Hopkins and Conservation area on the road with houses of various sizes and designs. The plot is large and dwindles down in size towards the rear of the property. The proposed replacement dwelling will be a three-storey expecting property and it needs to be set more centrally on the plot rather than at the end of the existing properties positioned. This read between each of its neighbour properties um, is going to be interesting. I don't think I need to go through all the <laughs> Basically, it's going to have a new two story garage which is proposed to replace the existing two story garage and which is going to be two story. Um, it's going to have three and bays, two, stories, two, stories. two story garage, three bays. Um, it's going to have a side entrance door to it leading into a lobby and stairs to an upper floor which will host a bathroom, a store. That's um, there's a lobby in the garage. Yes. That would so we can grab some later. I find moving to the garage. The proposed um, site plan details eleven trees which have already received permission for removal. 
along with 17 replacement trees which must be planted along with mixed hedging. The front boundary is to be laid back on the low subject course brick wall with a 1.8 metre high hedge and the top of the wall curved sloping brick walls at the two driveway entrances which are the existing um, entrances leaving two metre by two metre display displays and black automated sliding gates are also into design. I have said considered no objection. Subject to project to bring this back on the main main properties, the street scene and the Harpenden conservation area. All route protection works to be carried out as necessary. I I have not for a lot of people like to prevent them from happening here. It's a shame. If, it, if it's the house, I think it is a shame to see it demolished. Yes. It is a lovely property. It's, it's, it's just as I've found it. Bad. It's not too badly protected. Yeah, has it been hard for them? I was surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Big. Yeah. It is a ter but it's yeah. you know, it's a terrible shame. Beautiful properties that are being lost. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. Park Avenue is becoming an arms race to South Park. South Park, yeah. It's, um, yeah, it's the LA side of Park. This was nothing. That's incredibly good. And that's a really fast property. It was there currently. You can tell got like some plants here at the top. Loads of them taking loads of establishment and other places. I don't think that's all. That's a taste, but it's a taste. There are two around there already. There are two going up at the moment. Mm. It's not much with them, I have to say. I don't know what's going to be like, just a rough with windows in the conservation area. It's not in the green pot face inside, though, is it? No, no, I was thinking more in terms of impact on the stuff. We've had sheet panels previously. Any indication that we had to in detail as to whether we're going to put the heat source pump here? Yeah, so they said they're going to have one, but I couldn't find on the plans. They did search, but they didn't find any heat I, I, I don't think I just felt like I couldn't see that. No, no, I couldn't see where they're going to put it. They don't always say where they're going to put it straight away. Um, they just say they're going to have one. So on some planning applications, I've seen that they don't have one, but they haven't said where they're going to put it. Well, isn't that the reason for um, refusing? Well, in one or two previous applications, we have refused. Because they have details sufficiently on the air source heat pump locations and knowledge. Um, there's one path along the road from this park, haven't we? Yes, yes. Well, we'll provide information on what is that? Yeah, I think we can't Sorry. The, the big one further on Park Avenue North. So it's had a problem. It's had also another amount of the thing is. Planning issue? I mean, is there any issue that needs to be supervised? Which one? Not going by the other properties. Yes, that's most of all. I mean, if you choose to do that, you can. I mean, I just didn't want to have missed it. I, I just didn't see it. Well, I'm, I'm sure they. It's the one. It was when um, they went in for a fresh spent like, for a planning application. They did, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it came. It's one which. It was uh, last packet, so it's not it. They were going to put it at the bottom of the garden. Yes. And the people next door thought that it was an egg. Yes. Not a. Uh, yes. Or something. Yes. But yeah. so they didn't. So they're moving away now. 
that the house has got the underground parking. I am just putting it out. We think that there's too much house on this one. Yeah, well, I think there's a lot of house on the floor. So, because of the garden, it's like, yes. Okay. What are the timing issues of the military? Uh, what's the situation on the one in um at the iron track house? You get permission to knock it down, but they didn't get permission. No, they get permission to for the planning application, they didn't get permission to knock it down. No, they don't have control. Okay, it's not like a lot. Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 I think I think the only way to object to it being not there is if it was visited somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's okay, but there's yes, yes, we, we we need to get on some of this local and stuff because there are yes, we do need to get on with it because there are too many properties being lost. Well, that is the two facts of the as we said, that's the purpose of the yeah, the subcons you work in the world. Um, I think the charge, uh, which extended the submission areas. To rewrite the character statement, which is so old. Yeah. And um, it's so whether any other buildings need to be open. It's a couple of years, but yeah. it's going to start in 10 years. So we can't get it done at the end of the meeting. It's really unfortunate. Maybe a good question. Um, yes. So I hope so fast. Um, there is the precedent of Mark Coverdale where through the application being made and being finally decided, the, the, the application was made successfully for it to be It's a slightly large property. Huh? This is a slightly large property of Coverdale. I'm just walking the precedent of that, as you say. But yes. Um, any further comments from I mean, personally, I think this is an open development. I said personally, I think this is an open development. So it's a great thing to get involved, as I've got this. Yeah, so that's fine. I will, uh, I'll speak up. Um, yeah, no, I think this is an open development. I think it's actually, even with an enormous problem, I think it's too big for the plot that it's on. Um, so I would express concern uh, about uh, size, scale, and bulk, um, and it being an open development, and the potential detrimental impact of that uh, on neighbouring properties, the street scene, and the heart of the conservation area. Does anyone have anything that they would throw in? I'd throw in the heat up. No, 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 no plans. We will not do that. No, no, it's not an occasion. And um, noise assessment. Okay. Um, with that in mind, we'll put express concern to a vote first. And then, if we don't have the maturity, I will move up. And, yeah. uh, so, all in favour of express concern. Lovely. Sorry, I don't know if that's true, quite that simple, because I think we're going to watch a few tomorrow. Yes, but I just wanted to, I wanted to start on express concern and then move up. But if we didn't get refusal, then I wouldn't fail express concern, so it's true to me. Okay, all in favour of refusal on the basis I always like to start more cautious if we're moving up, just because... A majority in favour of refusal on the basis of the plans, I think, are fair. Right. 
Okay. Sorry. Five twenty twenty two one two six zero seventy eight High Street. Okay, so this is a bird's eye view of seventy eight High Street, which um, is a the gallery which is next to the Street. Um, if you can see there's um, property uh, behind it and um, this is the actual property itself here and there's an entrance along the side um, I've also taken some street view pictures um, this is the property well this is the property itself it's got um, an upstairs to it but I don't know if that's just storage or whether it's living accommodation Okay, so um, basically, um, currently an art shop, the applicant is proposing to change the use to a hot food takeaway. And this part of the high street has parking restrictions um, by way of double yellow lines and white zigzags in the middle of the carriageway and is cited not far from the pedestrian crossing. There is one parking payment with a quick Fit garage next door and three further parking bays further up the road. Parking can also be obtained on the other side of the high street in Bowers Gray. Parking requirements for hot food takeaways are one space per three square metres of public area. The proposal also includes the installation of an inspector system at the rear of the property, which is shown to be sited immediately next to the window elevations and also next to the ventilation room to the neighbouring property number 18 High Street. The proposed extractor system appears to be excessive in size and potentially domineering on the rear of the building. Consider recommended refusal. The proposed extractor system is excessive in size now to people on this locally listed building in the conservation area. Its position next to the rear window on the first floor elevation will result in a loss of mobility to any existing or potential occupiers. Express concerns with regard to parking provision as there appears to be insufficient fees for customers or home delivery drivers to park without creating a detriment to the any comments from the um, yes, you, you, uh, obviously drew attention to the combination of love and being okay whether it's residential or not. Uh, which is a fair point, I don't know the answer. And I don't know whether it's part of the applicant property, if it's separately owned or not. Um, clearly, if it's separate, if it's residential, then it would have a serious detriment to that. Uh, in fact, um, you have a part of that. Uh, there is a queue on the parking uh, along here, which is obviously a fair amount of illegal parking. Um, and um, there's no shortage of existing takeaways or eating establishments. Um, I can't help thinking that that's not an appropriate use of this particular location. Mentioned if it's also a pity to see lots of retail space. I'm not going to take away. I'm not sure what's at the back of it. I think it's a shops. Yes, and then, for, and then it must be a churchyard. Well, well, there's some, some residential complex. Yes, sort of four residences and some sort of storage and commercial. So it is, it is mixed. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I'm sure. Is that off the alleyway, brother? Is that off taking around into the church? No, no. It's not. It's not. Okay. It takes you down the first, doesn't it? No, that's good. Perhaps it's that one because there is a path. One of those alleyways is a path into the churchyard. Is that one, isn't it? Yeah, you're right. It's right. It's the one originally my grandchild runs down. I guess. No, I couldn't work out which alleyway it was. I wasn't sure. 
Can I just say the the road that is in between the buildings? Yeah, last time, yeah. um, between the building and quick fit is very narrow. I think it's a, it's a matter of true of prison, but because the prison is much more than any problems. That's right. But I was just saying that road between um, on Boundary yeah. is very, very narrow. I've made the mistake of driving that. Yes. And I didn't really do that once. <laughs> I had to go back and get out. So I think it was. Uh, I mean, we don't have a we don't have a particular car. So, if people were thinking of picking up from the food, it's over there. Just drive around there. It used to be a picture frame, this guy. Yes. Yeah. You go on Google Maps and you take your little man. That's a certain arrow you can actually take you in the shop and you can have a little look around. Really? Yeah. Oh. Okay. You know what type of fast food? Is that good, sir? Fast food. Just establishing whether we'd like to go there. But... <laughs> No, I think, uh, I, think, I, mean, I think it's a no-go because the extractive system is it's completely a material farming concern. Um, I'd be, just as a future precedent, I'd be slightly concerned about if we say that you can't have takeaways in that stretch because of parking, there are former takeaways in that stretch, such that we would be making those places not suitable for takeaways. Um, but obviously, if it's a farming concern that they have to be in categories, then so be it, I'm just sort of putting it out there. I think generally, I think quite straight up. That would be less concerned about parking, yeah. because if you see people already in there, yes, it's it's park, they can't park, they can't park. Yes. I don't argue that it's just as much of a problem. It's a yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah. you might want to drive, you know, to put it with, you know, retain an hour, drive to an hour. As I say, I just wanted to put that out there as a slightly very much precedent we're setting, which is saying we can't have takeaways in this part of town because of the parking. Should we get rid of the express concern? Might be happy to get rid of it. I think the, the extractor thing is the thing yeah. I'm bothered by. Parking, we all know parking in the car, but it's my yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 We don't want any bits, anyone who might want to park in the town. I'd rather uh, not render the uh, entire stretch. I'd rather say yeah. unable to be used by takeaways. Oh, yeah. um, okay, so with the removal of the, the thing yeah. about parking, we have to go with the recommendation. Oh, sorry, this is the Yes. Yes, the only change we've made, Roger, was taking out the zip um, about parking. Well, okay. well, that means if they do the acquisition, they can be the Yes. I think it's quite difficult to object on parking. What's that already? Yeah, and as I say, my concern is about the present. So if we say you can't have a takeaway in that. Stretch. Is this the eight units in that stretch? It's because it's a list of building, wasn't it? List of yep. the oh, if the extractor flew was fine, I wouldn't have an issue at the gate. Much rather see a business in there. Not. Yeah. That, that's not necessarily a plumbing answer. But yeah. Anyway, five 2022 
This property is a locally listed building sited in the Harpton Conservation Area. The proposal is to demolish the small shed which is sited near the boundary of number 24C, along with the site projection and replace it with a single storey side extension to the property with a bike store at the front of the view of the market. The proposed extension will have a pitched roof, four trees on the existing are shown to be in position where the single storey side extension is to be placed. However, there's only one tree shown on the proposed plan. That was my problem. No tree survey has been included with the application. Um, so, therefore, considering the refusal, the applicant has not provided tree survey for the trees which will be affected by the proposal as required by policy ESD 14 of the Harvard. So if you look at the existing proposed plans, you'll see you have some trees on one and not on another. Are we otherwise happy with everything else? Um, yes, I think we're uh, okay. oh, we can say that. Yeah, that's, that I was just going to pass it. Yeah. Well, so the previous one. Uh, yeah. I've got to work out what they're doing. So. So that we have. Yes. I used very close to it. It's a lovely part of it. Yes. Yes. We didn't know what that was. We didn't know what that was. I knew how to know what that was. Someone in practical living. Why? We lived in Salisbury for many years. 17. 17. Yes. Big rooms, drafty, steep stairs. When I bought the house, it was the worst house in the street. When I saw that it was the worst house in the street, <laughs> it's never because I spent two years doing it up to start with, and then of course, over the years, everyone else did profit. Not, not what I'm assuming you put on this. The worst house in the street. Anyway, um, any other comments? Or are we happy with the addition of the language about not having any? Um, no, Jeff, that's not. Yeah. Um, okay, all in favor. And that's the last one. Uh, the rest of those are coming back. In many of these houses, both have capital walls. Uh, salt, salt blocks. So, item seven, no appeals have been received. Item eight, preservation of the tree works for noting. Item nine, conservation area tree works and technical applications for noting. Item ten, and the list of weekly all district council decisions for noting. The next meeting of this committee will be held on Tuesday, the 9th of August, 7.30 p.m. in this chamber, hopefully it's slightly cooler. Uh, and the next meeting of Plants North will be held on Monday, the 15th of August, I assume. Uh, and with that, I move the meeting to a close at 9.23. 23. Sure. What we don't have is anything for following up on things in the rooms. In relation to which I There was one last week, which was the monotonous well, side. Yeah. Where um, I was asked to uh, ask what's the doing with heritage to consider looking at the Binner Corning as an audience. Uh, I didn't get in touch with them. And for various technical reasons, it's not that possible right? because it would, there'd already been that land claim information for the improvement. Um, and on the basis that the you know, already considered it, um, I think that's the point. That was the reason why I should have called it. Because, it, it, especially if it's a new process, we're going to be looking at callings um, and what else from councillors to do that. And I think we do need it. Not only doing it, but then following up with what happened. Well, that's fine. Um, I think in future, if we take it, when we take the, the minutes and start, it that seems like a sort of matters of writing. Uh, exactly. No, but in terms of when we're taking it. 
maybe because that seems like an opportunity to discuss what happens in the previous meeting. Yep. Yep. Well, I'll briefly close then at 9.25. Thank you. Thank you. My paper bit is already Find out how many people have read the Daily Telegraph. The number of times 